Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Flamingo. Today we're gonna look at how to add comments to a, our uh, jQL blog that we created in the last uh, video and we're hosting in GitHub pages. How are we gonna add comments without having to create an API or some backend to deal with the comments and deal with the usernames and, and stuff like that. Um, full credit goes to this person. This is how I got it from. I just modified it to work with my site. Um, so check them out. Uh, here's their GitHub and their blog and the blog post that I used. Um, so let's look at functionality. So the brilliant idea that that person had was let's use, um, this is a coding uh, blog, so let's use GitHub since most people will have a GitHub account to manage the comments. So how they do it is we create a ticket for each of the blog posts. So as you can see, this is the issue I created under my blog for how to deploy static site on GitHub pages for free. So uh, there's no description because I didn't because there's a whole blog for it. So if I go here and I leave a comment like, hey, this is great. And I go back to the site. Now it shows that I created it and it has like all my GitHub information and, and so on. And as many comments as you have, it'll just keep going. And if you want to add another one, as, I, as you saw, you just click the link to it and that's how it works. So now let's see how I made it work. So first, let's go to um, the what a theme uh, thing and I went ahead and added some stuff just because it's not fun to see me copy paste stuff in videos so I added uh, the comments SCS and all this code as always is in my github so make sure to check it out so you don't have to copy and paste it it's down in the description down below um, so I just added this which is all the CSS for the comments uh, that we're using and I just segregated so instead of being in the main one I just created a, a new file and just added as an import at the top and then I created the comments HTML um, so this one you will have to modify so I'm just gonna go through the parts that you'll have to modify uh, first one is this you'll have to change this to your github name and then the repo you're using and this one we use page ID, uh, page comment ID, which we set on each of our posts. So if I go to my actual posts, I actually go ahead and add, of course, oh, this one's don't have it because it's not the ones. So if I go to my real blog and I go to the posts, there is a comment ID. So this one, we have to go ahead and add it to our post and in here you would match it with the issue number. So if we go back here and we go to the comments, when you create the issue in GitHub, there's an issue number at the top. So you, you have to match that comment ID with the issue number. Um, so going back to the comments HTML, so you modify that and then we get that from the page because it's dynamic so each page is going to have a different one and then in here we get it and if there's no comments we say that there's no comments and um, for creating the the comment down below the, the link join the discussion and then in here I send them to the issue once again you would have to change this to match your name and your repo and and then this is the HTML of the comment. So if you want to change that, make sure to change it so it looks different. Or like if you want to say something more beautiful than what I say, go ahead and do that. So by adding those two files, um, now we have to also add the comments into the post because right now this HTML exists, but it doesn't get called into anything in our page. So for that, we're going to go to layouts and post.html so in here and here there's the discus one i read a online that they were pushing some sketchy ads and stuff into the sites 
so instead I this is why I went with this so we're gonna remove that script and then before the footer uh, we'll just add the if statement so if, if the page dot comment ID add comments if there is no comment ID don't add the comments because there is no comments for that page so make sure you add that tag to each of the posts so now we save that and let's remember that we did it in the what's in jQuery. And now we're going to go ahead, run it. We can go straight to the blog. And we go to the what's in jQuery. If we go to the bottom, now it says the comments, no comments found for this article. And if we go ahead, it'll open the ticket and we can comment. So that's how you add comments to your blog, hosting it as, as a static site. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.